hello everyone welcome to google forms tutorials in this video we are going to see that how can we work with the responses so once you have created your form you would be getting a shareable link that you can either post on your social media or maybe share with the people you want to fill your form or share them through mails cold calling any way that's possible you can just share that link with others and you will start to get the responses now once you get responses the second tab that is the responses tab comes into play and you can see we are getting these three sections in this responses tab that is summary question and individual so in the summary you would be getting all the responses listed for the individual questions like for the mobile number i am getting this response full name and for the mode of payment they have already created a pie chart kind of a thing to just tell you the statistics in a much more simpler way if you toggle over it you will get the number of responses as well since it's only one so the whole pie chart is created with prepaid if you go to the question then you will be getting the response for the particular question like for the mobile number all the responses will be listed over here for the second question if you want to move on to the second question you can simply just click on this arrow or uh, you can just use this drop down to list all the questions and one by one you can just select the questions and all the responses would be shown over there in the case of multiple choices you would be getting this view options so if you just click on that these two options are basically all the options that you have given in a multiple choice question would be there and those options you can just see you cannot use those options but actually you can see what are the possible options from which the people have selected so and so last option we have is the individual in which you would be getting the individual responses so i have filled this form once and these are the details that i have entered so this individual response i am getting in the individual tab if i want to print this i can simply print this response if i don't like this response i want to delete it i can simply delete it but i cannot edit this response because this is not my response this is my customer or maybe some other user has entered which i cannot edit i do not have the permissions to edit this response so uh, responses cannot be edited this is what i am getting over here i can delete it or print it now in case you have received so many responses on your form or you want to uh, now you want to stop accepting the responses simply just toggle this button and the form will no longer accept responses in case user tries to click on the link to submit a response you can just give them a message that please try again after some time or this form has stopped accepting responses from so and so time you are late or something like this this comes very handy when you are dealing with assignments so maybe you have a deadline before which you need to complete the assignment and submit it via google form or maybe complete a quiz so if you have passed that deadline you cannot submit your assignment that's what purpose this can be used for next options we have is um, just selecting the response destination that is once you have got the response and uh, then how are you going to deal with the responses okay so by default if you see this is a spreadsheet that would be created and that's where your responses will go if you want to select a destination a particular destination for the responses like uh, maybe an existing spreadsheet that you can just select from here select existing spreadsheet and click on select so it will prompt you to select the spreadsheet if you do not have any spreadsheet you can just go on and click a new spreadsheet provided a particular name like shipping for me and then click on create so a new spreadsheet would be created and all the responses would be stored there now in case you want to get email notifications for the new responses so as soon as someone has uh, provided you a response you want uh, your uh, to get an email notification you can just simply click on this email notification that would be enabled and now remember one thing when you are creating a google form it is actually associated with your gmail account so with which gmail account is this associated on that particular gmail account on that particular inbox you would be getting an email notification next we have is the download responses option so if you want you can just download all the responses at any time in the form of a dot csv file this kind of a file is actually comma separated values which means all the values would be separated by a comma very easily you can open them up in microsoft excel or normally a notepad as well if you want to print all the responses here is this option to print all the responses uh, you can just click on that and you will see a preview of your print so here you can see this one response that i had 
that is being previewed over here similarly different responses would be uh, shown over here so that you can print i'm just clicking on cancel for now because i don't want to print the responses now if i want to delete all the responses uh, let's say for one month you want particular feedback from the customer or for a particular service you want a feedback and you have shared this form with them now you do not want to uh, accept the responses any longer or maybe just clear out the previous responses and start accepting new responses so let's just click on delete all responses so what will happen is uh, once you click on ok all the responses would be deleted all the responses would be removed that's it for this video thanks for watching